I like to remember the first day I went hunting for queen ants. I was asked often how queen ants differ from normal ants. The main difference is very obvious and relatively simple. Queen ants are bigger and longer compared to other ants. In general, I would like to show you in this picture in which body regions or body parts an ant can be subdivided. I differentiate between three rough areas. First, we have the head, second, the thorax, or also called the mesosoma, and finally, the abdomen. If you compare the body structure of a queen with the one of a worker, you quickly realize that the thorax or mesosoma is much larger than the one of a worker. In addition, you can see in this picture that the mesosoma of the queen consists more parts and also larger parts. Most queens are relatively easy to find in the months of May to September. It is best to have a day when it is very hot and humid. Depending on the ant type, the nuptial flight takes place at different times of the day. However, this depends on various factors such as temperature, humidity, wind force, etc. I found my queen ants in June and July 2017. Still, it can be very tricky to identify a queen by size. There are ant species in which the workers are very, very large and which can often lead to confusion and this is mistaken for a queen. Especially at the beginning of my hunt that happened to me quite often. Another feature to identify a queen is by looking closely at the mesosoma. At a close look you can see the scars of the wings here. That is the clear indication that it's a queen. So, once you have caught a queen, look at her mesosoma to see if it's big enough and if she has the prominent scars on her back. Should you have caught a queen still in possession of her wings, I would recommend to release her, as that may be a sign that she has not been mated yet. It could also be a male ant. The difference between a queen and a male ant is also very obvious, as the males are built narrower than the queens. Visually, they look like wasps. Keep only queens who have already ripped off their wings. Please pay attention to their scars. If you are still unsure whether it is a queen, you can put it in a test tube and let it stay there for a few days. If you are lucky and have caught a queen, she will start laying eggs after only a few days. However, if you are unlucky and haven't caught a queen, she will die in a few days. Another less meaningful sign to recognize a queen is that queens often have a larger abdomen than workers. This may be appropriate for some species, but it is not a secure identifier. Especially if you are still a novice in ant keeping, it can be difficult to identify queens or even find them. A personal experience is that you acquire the necessary experience yourself over time. Step by step you will know better and know what to look for. Just try to catch a queen ant. Learning by doing. In the worst case, you are wrong and the ant dies in a test tube. But if you are successful, then she lays eggs after only a few days. You can also take advantage of the internet to take a look at some pictures of the caught queen ant. Thus, the identification can be significantly simplified. In addition, you can determine if it is queen or not. Especially at the beginning of ant keeping, I can highly recommend it. With my Campanotus queen, it was not hard to recognize her as a queen ant because of her size. I was very sure about her. It was more difficult to identify my fire ant queen as she is relatively small and as a newcomer I did not recognize the typical characteristics. Only when I saw her scars on the thorax with the help of a magnifying glass, I could see that this is a queen. However, 
I had the 100% proof only when she started laying eggs. As I mentioned earlier, the months from May to September are ideal for finding and catching queen ants. On the internet you can also see an overview of when ant species perform their nuptial flight. There is also a link in the description of my video. I hope I could help you to identify a queen ant. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to put them in the commentary section or write me a private message. I would really appreciate feedback from you. I would also be very happy about likes and the subscription. I will explain in another video how to look after a queen or what her nest structure has to look like. Until then, thank you for watching, we will see us in my next video, many many thanks to all of you. Hello guys, I'm Ernst Austria and this is my first video in English, so if you think it's worth to do my videos also in English, let me know. I would really appreciate feedback from you. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.